Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Insurance company faked a Tesla battery fire to prove batteries catch fire. Tesla FSD beta version 10.69.2 rolls out to all 100,000 testers next week. Tesla puts its vehicles to the test in 122 degree heat in Dubai. And, California EV rebate program soon to end. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. An insurance company wanted to prove that Tesla batteries catch on fire and performed a test without the battery. Yes, you heard that right. AXA Insurance put on a show marketed as a crash test and admitted to 24 Auto that there were no batteries in the tested videos. According to a statement by the AXA, EVs can pose a risk of fire due to the batteries. However, AXA chose to perform these tests, proving it by not including the batteries. Instead, they set the car on fire in a different way. AXA told 24 Auto that it would have been too dangerous to demonstrate an actual battery fire, so they removed the battery cells before the tests. This same reasoning applied to their decision to ignite the fire of a Tesla Model S with pyrotechnics. For safety reasons, it was not possible to ignite a real battery fire at an event with around 500 people, which is why a fire with pyrotechnics was staged. We wanted to use the fire the accident researchers, on the one hand point out the danger of a cell fire, which can result from damage to the underside of the electric car, and on the other hand point out the problems with fires in electric vehicles in general. Fortunately, fires are very rare in electric cars as well as in conventional combustion engines. In the rare case of a battery fire, so-called thermal runaways can, the insurance company said. Michael Pfaffley, head of accident research at AXA Switzerland said, that the high torque found in most EVs could result in unwanted jerky acceleration and loss of control. During the crash test, it was assumed that the driver would lose control of the Tesla, which would then roll over on a traffic island. After the crash, AXA noted, that the passenger side was intact but the underbody was badly damaged. AXA researchers also noted, that the drive battery was very well protected but could still pose a fire hazard. There are many questions here that need to be answered. How can you claim that something catches on fire and then do a test without that object? And honestly, anything will catch on fire if you set it on fire, except for water, unless the water is contaminated with something flammable. In our opinion, this so-called test combined with the claim that fires are rare with conventional combustible engines is just FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Another question we have is, how is it legal for any company to openly test a vehicle in this manner on public roads? If they were worried about safety, they shouldn't be testing and setting cars on fire in places where innocent people could get hurt. Did they have a permit or some type of agency approval for testing? Tesla owners get criticized for using full self-driving beta, but it's okay for insurance companies to stage car fires on public roads? One last question we have is, would AXA have come out and admitted that this whole thing was staged if 24 Auto hadn't asked them? They presented the photo to the media which would have harmed Tesla's reputation. So the question has to be asked, what were AXA's real motives here? Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD beta version 10.69.2 rolls out to all 100,000 testers next week. Elon Musk announced that Tesla FSD Beta 10.69.2 would roll out to all 100,000 testers next week as planned. Version 10.69.2 will be the last phase of Tesla's latest software update release. In the first phase, Tesla released the FSD Beta update to 1,000 testers. The company released 10.69.1 this week to 10,000 testers. Elon Musk recently commented to beta tester John Harity, 10.69.1 is even better. We reduced latency and jitter in hardware command loop, so time from object detection to break actuation is 10% to 20% better. Harity released a video testing 10.12.2, showcasing how Tesla FSD beta works when it detects kids on the road. His video attempted to disprove Dan O'Dowd's anti-FSD claims. 
Tesla now plans to raise the price of FSD beta after the wide release of 10.69. So anyone interested in getting FSD might want to consider purchasing it now. Currently, it costs $12,000 in the United States. Tesla plans to raise the price to $15,000 in the US. Thus far, most beta testers have seen significant improvements in the self-driving software since the release of 10.69. For instance, Holmar's blog stated that the latest FSD beta update was more human-like in its driving. Another tester Tesla owners SV commented that 10.69 executed the smoothest driving experience with little to zero disengagements. The verdict is still out on 10.69.1. Tesla FSD Beta 10.69 release notes are available. Version 10.69.1 has similar release notes with a few new tidbits. One of the most significant changes to 10.69.1 is that Tesla reset strikes to zero. Moving to the next update, Tesla puts its vehicles to the test in 122 degree heat in Dubai. Tesla puts several of its vehicles including a Plaid Model X to the test for extreme heat and durability. The testing took place in Dubai where temperatures reached over 120 degrees Fahrenheit this summer. Tesla's field quality engineers went to Dubai during the hottest time of the year for extreme heat and durability testing, the company said on Instagram. The temperatures reached over 122 degrees Fahrenheit during the tests. Tesla shared several photos of its vehicles in Dubai, sand dunes, and a camel posing with a Model 3. In one photo, an engineer was driving the Model X Plaid. Another photo showed an engineer posing with a goat, and in another, you could see the dust flying as the vehicles were driving on the roads with sand on either side. The field testing looked to be quite an adventure in the sand dunes, and shows how far Tesla is willing to go to ensure the performance and safety of its vehicles. Testing the vehicles in the extreme heat is no easy matter. This type of heat requires preparation for those who are not used to it. Just to show some perspective, we took a quick check of the weather which showed 92 degrees and 51% humidity. Although we are pretty used to that here in Louisiana, that is a typical daytime temperature for us. For Dubai, it was just after 9 p.m. We suspect that the testing took place either in June or July even. In June, Dubai was actually making its own fake rain to beat the heat, where temperatures reached over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving to the last update, California EV rebate program soon to end. If you plan to take advantage of the popular California Clean Fuel Reward, you must hurry. This is because the rebate program will end soon. The Golden State is pausing the funding program beginning on September 1st. The reason for the pause is a lack of funding. California has not revealed a possible date for resuming the program. It doesn't have a waiting list either. The program website states that the fund unavailability was due to higher than estimated growth witnessed by EV sales in the state. The state also experienced dwindling sales of carbon credits and was legally obligated to retain $10 million as a reserve. However, the pause in EV rebate has not stopped California from banning gas-powered vehicles by 2035. The clean fuel reward gives EV car buyers $750. PHEV buyers get an amount based on the battery size. Tesla buyers will be affected, because it is one of the only incentives available to the brand. The company lost the clean vehicle rebate after raising prices. So if you are looking to buy a Tesla, Buy it now, or you'll regret. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.